So React has finally released React 18 in release candidate mode. That means that it is now officially stable in a way and there would not be a lot more changes or a lot more things added to React 18. So React 18 over here now is in release candidate mode. You can go ahead and now install npm install React and then add the rate RC and it will install a release candidate version for you. So we have talked a lot about React 18 on this channel, a lot, almost all the features have been covered in the past, but I'll just quickly go over through what is new in React and what you can expect. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So the biggest thing obviously which React 18 brings is concurrent rendering. And this had been renamed from concurrent mode to concurrent rendering so that, you know, there's not a breaking versus a non-breaking mode in React. So now this is just concurrent rendering where React would try to render stuff concurrently whenever you are using react.create root instead of, you know, the traditional one, which is react dom.render. We have discussed extensively on what create root is, how it differs from react dom.render in some previous videos. So make sure you check that out because that is an amazing walkthrough of how this new feature works. The second update is update to, you know, there have been some server API changes. So earlier, what used to happen was from a server side, you could have streamed the response. You know, we also have discussed streams a lot in depth a few days ago, I guess. So you could have streamed the response to the client and uh, that would have worked, but it did not support the, you know, the suspense and the concurrent rendering very properly, right? So React 18 also adds support for a new function, a couple of functions which properly streams not only just the response, but also with the ability to hold data for suspense. And whenever that arrives, it can stream the rest of the stuff. So again, this is required for things like, you know, RSC might use and might benefit from this new streaming API. Well, maybe not exactly because this depends on, this mostly also depends on the server APIs for server-side rendering streaming, but you get the idea that this is something which is also being introduced. The third thing which is interesting is batching, and this is also something which I remember we have discussed a few, maybe a couple of months ago, but React 18 also brings in support for batching the state updates. React earlier also used to batch state updates. So for example, if you would say set A has five and set B has seven, where a, set A and set B are two state variables. And of course, it will batch them together, but there were certain conditions, certain scenarios where the act would not batch them, for example, in set time or other stuff. So that is also now fixed or, you know, in a way improved in React 18. So there you go. And finally, another one which I think would be useful and you might also have experienced this is a new hook called use ID, which actually gives you deterministic and stable identifier, unique identifier, both on client and server, right? So what happens when your server delivers some document, some React server side rendered document to the client, of course, that is delivered as an HTML file, but you still have to rehydrate that with JS, right? So this rehydration process, sometimes what it results is that there's a mismatch between what JavaScript expects on the client versus what has been sent from the server. And usually that is in cases of keys or, you know, stuff which is client specific and so on. So use ID is a new hook, which allows you to create deterministic keys or deterministic values on server and client both. And it's useful. In fact, it's important in React 18 because of how concurrent rendering works and how, you know, things will arrive out of order in in React 18 on the client. So, yep, we'll discuss more about this in future videos, but just a quick heads up on what's new. And then finally, the biggest change, or not exactly a biggest change, but the final change, which React is also making, is dropping support for Internet Explorer completely. Now, Internet Explorer has arrived on its end of life, and I mean, I don't know, like, if anyone willingly uses Internet Explorer anymore, but React does not support it from React 18 onwards. And that's fine, it cannot support it because of these concurrent rendering and interesting features, which requires things like micro task queues for scheduling and you know, interrupting the main thread, allowing the user input to interrupt the main thread when React is working. So all of those things are obviously very hard to bring support to in Internet Explorer. So that's a wise decision which they have made. So there we go. So yep, these were the top four, five changes which React 18 is bringing. React 18, like I said, is in release candidate mode now. So you can go ahead and install React at RC and React DOM in React release candidate mode as well and get started with your react 18 journey and of course this will bring 
and just you know just pass on the benefits to frameworks like Next.js also and Remix also because these things also use React as the underlying library. So yep, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you learned something new and liked it. If you did, make sure you leave a like and check out Codedam's full stack learning path in which we go through this React stuff and advanced React hooks and what are the best practices with React. Make sure you check that out. That's all for this one. I'm going to see you in the next video really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of Codedamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.